This is normal. You can see both the countries are shown. Instead, I say select distinct country code. Right? Country name. I just do just do this to from my country. Now, if I see, right? Oh, distinct country code from my country. I'll take out this because country is not same. Okay. Now if you see there is only in and NP. There is no country code because usually you will have a country name as all same. But in this case you can see now only IN is coming. So if I put without that, if I put just country code here without a distinct, you can see now all values are appear. In twice appearing. To avoid the display, developer uses this command by default. Just to avoid the duplicates. This has to be tested. The, you don't know whether it is done or not done. You have to physically see in the database, is it really not available? Because you have to enter, because the two IDs, the IN now has two IDs now. There is one called ID. Uh, I'll put it again, select star from my country the id the in has two codes now one is 8 another is 12 now whether you are going to update with the 8 or a 12 you may not know to avoid all this you should have ensure that that is taken care of that is another portion showing of duplicate records in display due to improper usage of join that also happens that i'll explain we need more than two tables we'll explain it as we get into the next portion. So physical deletion of master record without removing the referenced records in other tables. There is another common problem happens. Because delete is simple command. Delete table name, give where condition. It's a simple but there are a lot of implications on the delete. I will explain you this also because I have, if I have to explain you I need multiple table. So that will do it in the next session. So this is what I just wanted to cover as today. If you have any queries as of now, please let me know so that we can finish up this portion up to this. Tomorrow what we cover is how, what is table, how we create a table, what is character type, how to create a table, how to insert records into table, what is the column name, etc, etc. We will see all this tomorrow onwards. So tomorrow onwards we will be more into SQL than PowerPoint. Right? Please let me know if you have any queries over here so that we can complete this session with this. And give your feedback as well. That helps us to improve further. Uh, next class is on Monday. It is not uh, tomorrow and day after. You don't, we don't have a class. Just give your comfort level on this course. Raise your hand if you are comfortable on this course. Please raise your hand. If you have any expectation missing, that also you can put it in the questionnaire. That helps us, that's all. Because there are uh, various people, various culture, various expectation people are attending. The essence I am not able to view your face expressions. Sometimes what happens, we miss in online training, that is one disadvantage. I cannot see your face expression. I can change my way of teaching. Because we are not supposed to teach. We have to make you to learn. Teaching is an improper word for any uh, trainer. How I make you to learn is the most important part. If I have to make you to learn, you are, I have to bring your attention 100% onto this topic. How I make it? Generally, when we take a corporate training or a classroom training, the face expression gives that. In this case, I, since I don't have a face expression, I take it from your comments, questions. I try to understand what is your knowledge level. The questions will give indirectly give me the knowledge level. Meantime, there are some questions asked. I'll just answer those. Can you please show us how the design document will be in real time? 
I'll surely show it to you. That's not an issue because I have a lot of design documents. I'll just since you have asked, I'll take, just take uh, one of my uh, product design, what the one that I'm currently doing. I take up that and explain you on that. These are all the products of SourceMath. So I'll just show you how we design the database. Because since we are into database design, I don't want to get into other design. I'll try to make, show you the database portion. This is the way I initiate start my design. Right? So I will not allow developer to do anything. I create all my masters. I cre create the code level. Up to code level, I make it over here. Right? And then I will also assign a default data, how to do an insert, analyzation. I do an analyze here, how the structure has to be. What all the complications that can happen. I structure it here before I design the database. So these are all how the, what are all the various things. Then how to minimize it. What are all the common things. Those kind of effort we make. This is a database design. Before database design, there is one portion called Just a second. Now I go to another area. Uh, so database design, then we make it into scripts. We will give it to the designer. Then you have screenshots. How the screen has to look like. So let me take, uh, you all know the employee master or a parties ledger, we call it as a parties ledger. Let me take from here, right? This is my parties ledger. This is what the table that you have seen there. So this is how the screen has to look like. This is how the, these are all details, address, contact, account, delivery. These are all sub tables. Address, contact, account, these are all subtables. Right? This is how the account screen should look like. So in account screen, there are two components. One is with subledger, without subledger. So this is my screen design. Once screen design is over, then we have to prepare an actual design document. That is where the validation everything comes into picture. That is the next level of documentation. This is, we call it as a design document. So the design document, so this is our current things that is happening. Last design date is 11th June. So the design document, how it looks like. Just to show you, it is not the end. So what is access rights? How to manage a license, right? Role mapping access, screen component. What is the screen type used? Reference tables, right? These are all you can see now, this role access. Screen layout is role access CEV.C means for create, edit and view. Cap role access is the main table. Reference table is cap AR, cap sub AR. Cap list where list type equal to role master. These are all the sub table used. Each of the field what they have to do. From where the list has to come. Whether the validation is there or not. On selection what to happen. Then module from where the values are coming from. So like this for every individual field we give an explanation right add button what it has to do button so that is how the design we'll talk about as we go we talk about more on this we have tp practice sql commands in how in home how we will do uh, you can practice how to install ms sql or you can use mysql also most of the commands are same you can for well, mysql is open source MS SQL is the commonly used product in the market. That is why we have taken MS SQL. And you can use any of this, install it. Just you have a eval copy 30 days, uh, I think 60 days is MS SQL. Install it and then start using it. How 4GL, open edge database testing is different from normal DB testing. There is no difference as far as I am concerned if you understand the database structure. That the complexity happens based on the 
way the structure is used by the end user. There are certain structures.